hello guys welcome to this video so in this video we're looking at how to convert a scalable vector graphics and insert that into a pdf document so we have a svg file and we'll be converting it into a pdf we'll build out a simple converter svg to pdf using in reactjs using a open source pdf generation library called as pdf lib this is the name of the library open source library it is we will be using it inside reactjs and build out a simple converter svg to pdf so here you need to sel please select your svg file we will be selecting this svg file you can see it is we can open it in the browser this is actually the scalable vector graphics and now if we want to convert this into pdf document so what we will do we will simply select this svg file click on the download as pdf button and if you click it you will actually see a pdf file will get downloaded and it will cover entire space of the pdf page it will take the screenshot and insert this into a pdf document and i will show you how to do this and uh, we'll be using the canvas api for this purpose we're actually converting it to a pdf document in reactjs so now to get started we do need to install this package which is npmi pdf lib which will be responsible for carrying over this conversion npmi pdf lib this is the name of the library simply install this so once you install this you will be able to start your development server npm run dev so i will simply start this and start everything from scratch so you'll be writing a simple functional component and inside this in the user interface we will be actually be having a div tag and we will be giving a container class inside this we will having a heading which will say svg to pdf converter after this we will having a simple input type file and accepting only svg files and we will be binding an on change event handler so when we click or allow the user to simply select the svg file this function will execute handle file upload now we need to define this function so just make it required and here we will simply write this function handle file upload e parameter will be passed here so we will also be after this input field we have a button right here which will say download as pdf this button will be disabled by default and we'll be binding a on click event handler so when we click this button we will simply execute a function handle download pdf we just need to define this function as well so handle download pdf so we have this interface guys if you see in the browser you will see this interface by default this button will be disabled and we have the choose file button so now we in the react chess we do need to create a state variable just to keep track of which files the user will select so you declare a state variable svg file set svg file the method to manipulate that we will be using the use state hook in react chess so default value will be null so right in this function handle file upload we will basically read the file which the user select by e dot target files zero and here we we'll simply be checking in the if condition that if the file has been selected and if the file type extension is triple equal to the image slash svg so here we are simply checking that if the selected file is X, X, uh, svg or not if this file is an svg then in that case we need to set the svg file to whatever file the user select in the u state in the else block we can simply say that please upload only a, a valid svg file so it is it is keep showing that you need to only upload the svg file now the, uh, we will be in the disabled attribute so what it will do you just need to make sure that it is only disabled until and unless the file is not uploaded so you make it conditionally because 
if this value becomes false in that case this will not be disabled so this SVG file that variable that you see you just make sure that it is only disabled if the file is not uploaded or selected so now in the handle download PDF button guys what will happen now in this function first of all just make this function as async and inside this first of all we will check that if the SVG file variable is not uploaded then we simply return but if the file is there then we need to simply read the SVG file for that we will use the text method we will be extracting all the text which is available in the SVG file by the text method and then we will be using the canvas API to draw this image on the canvas for drawing this image we need first of all need to create a dynamic element of canvas dynamically and then using the 2d context you can get the 2d context by this method get context 2d and then we will draw this image on the canvas so new image constructor this is a very simple way by which we can read the SVG file first of all drawing it in the canvas so when the image is loaded this on load event will occur we will simply draw this image on the canvas so whatever is the width of the canvas we will get this from image.width and same for the height as well so whatever is the image height and then there is a method out there which is draw image which draws the image on the canvas image 0 0 x coordinate y coordinate image width image height so once you draw this image you will get the base 64 code that you need so we're creating png url and you'll use this nice little method which is canvas to data url which returns the base 64 code of the image image slash png and then we will simply insert this image in the pdf by using pdf lib we'll create a new pdf document by the create method which is available inside the pdf lib so once it will automatically import this pdf document from pdf lib if you see it is imported then to add a page we will use the add page method inside that we will pass the image width and the image height and then for the png image we will use this method embed png to actually embed the png image and we have the png url and there is a method which is draw image which will draw this image with the options here x coordinate we need to provide the y coordinate as well which will be zero it will cover the entire page the svg image image width and height is image height that's all and then we need to save this pdf document so that we can open it for saving it we will actually be await uh, there is a function out there in this pdf lib which is save function it will return the bytes now the bytes can be converted to blob very easily we will pass these bytes and the mem type type will be the application slash pdf now we can uh, convert this this url we have a function create object url We'll pass the blob. Now to download the blob, we have if to create a anchor element, and then we can set. This is a very standard way by which you can download any file by using the anchor element technique. We give it a file name, then we append it, click it, remove it, and then revoke it. So this is all done, and lastly, we just need to outside this function this onload function that you written image.onload you just need to set the image source so this needs to be exactly like this data image slash svg 
so here here we are simply setting the attribute for the svg file this is very much necessary and then we are simply using this function which is btuo which is a built in function which this is required guys you need to set this image source like this as it is and uh, now if you select now select your svg file click on download you will see the pdf file the svg file has been successfully inserted you can take any svg file scalable vector graphics and convert this into a pdf document so in this simple technique we can use we can build out a svg to pdf converter using pdf lib all the source code will be given in the description of this video so thank you very much for watching this video please hit that like button subscribe the channel and also check out my website freemediatools.com which contains a variety of tools available so you can check out this also thank you very much